Hey guys, it's Rimilo. This is a ukulele tutorial video of Shinzo Sasageo from Attack on Titan. And we are going to use nine chords in this song. A, E, F sharp minor, D, G, C sharp, C minor, sharp and the last chord G sharp that's it now, this song consists of intro verse pre-chorus and chorus part we are going to start from first one and then after that pre-chorus and then after that chorus and the last part is going to be intro because the intro is really difficult even me so we are going to start from verse one in the verse part we are going to use F sharp minor, D, G, C sharp, and then A minor, D minor, A sharp, E. The strumming pattern of this song is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, all the time until the end, from the start to the end. So let's play along with these chords, which are F sharp minor, D, G, C sharp, A minor, F, D. Oh no, A minor, D minor, A sharp, E. Okay. And the strumming pattern down, 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 up, up, down, up. Start from F sharp minor and it's going to be like this. <laughs> In this part, the chord is going to be F sharp minor D E A and again F sharp minor D E A and strumming pattern is the same down, down, up, up, down, up and it's gonna be like this F sharp minor D From Sugi Shihiro until Speki Te Kida. On four. One, two, three, four. Sugi Shihiro. The order of the chord is going to be A minor, F, G, C, and then after A minor, F, G, E. It's gonna be like this. Pre-chorus part. 
何をすてればあまおもしのげ命さえ魂さえ決して落ちくは超えない c o d e is going to be F E F G C A D minor D E Yeah and it's gonna be like this I'll show you an example 何をすてればあまおもしのげ This together, I'll go more slower than this. One, two, three, four. It's like this.
let's move on to the intro. Intro is going to be like this. When I was trying to figure out what, how can I play the intro part, I tried many ways, but I think this is the best way to do the intro part. Yeah, and but this is not easy as you can see. I practiced a lot, like so many times, like more than more than hundred or even maybe one thousand. But even now, I cannot play better. So you just need to practice a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot every day, every day, every day. Yes. In the first place, you need to place your index finger on the fifth fret, and then place your ring finger on seventh fret in here. In here. And place your ring, uh, no, no, pinky finger on the eighth fret, which is the next to the ring finger here. And this is the basic form of your hand in the intro. So the first step, you need to put your index finger on third strings on the fifth fret, and pluck your third strings, only one third strings. Right after you plug your plug the third strings on the fifth fret, you need to place your ring finger on fourth strings on the seventh fret in here. 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 And then plug the fourth strings. So at this point you're placing your fingers on fifth fret on the third strings with your index finger and 4th strings on the 7th fret with your ring finger like this and you need to plug the strings on 3rd and 4th strings like this and right after you plug the 4th strings you need to place your pinky finger on the next fret which is 8th fret which is next to the ring finger on the fourth fret or fourth strings like here 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 yes so right now you are placing your three fingers on fifth fret seventh fret eighth fret like this and all you need to plug is just third and fourth fret here so it's gonna be like this and after you plug the 4th string on the 8th fret, you need to move your index finger under the 3rd string in here. From the top. Yeah, let's play again. Yes, again. And then the last melody, place your finger, uh, place your ring finger again in the fourth string, seventh fret in here. Yeah. From the top. Da, 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 So let's play this finger style repeatedly until I say stop. One, two, three, four. Dun, dun, dun. After you finish your finger style, you need to move your hand in here and form your hand on A minor. A minor chord. So, like this. And just strum once, like this. And then, once you strum A minor, you need to put your pinky finger on 4th fret 2nd strings in here. Here, just put here and strum again. When you place your pinky finger on second strings fourth fret, 
you can skip stay your middle finger on the second fret's first string. So you don't need to move this finger. Just put the pinky finger on fourth strings no, on no, the second string's fourth fret. Key, A minor, pinky. A minor, pinky. A minor, pinky. After you place your pinky finger on the second string fourth fret, you need to form your hand into F chord. After you play F chord, you need to form your hand into E chord here. From the top. Combine this drumming pattern and the finger style is going to be like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned how to play this song, Shinzo Sasagio from Attack on Titan. It's really difficult, especially for the intro part, but you have to practice again and again, over and over again. I practice a lot. But even though, as I said, it's not perfect, so I need to practice again. See you next time. Bye.